that we're in Boston demonstrating Text Paint Pro and how it works. So we have set up here a little demonstration. We have a digital SLR and we have ducks that we're going to try to make quack. Let's first have a look at the user interface for Text Paint Pro. At the top of the user interface you will find a text box. In this box type in the text you want to display across your photograph. Next you have time. This is the total length that the animation will take for Text Paint Pro to write your message. After that we have delay. This is the start delay of the animation to give you time to get in position if you like. If you take the total time and the delay you get total animation time. This is recommended to be shorter than your total exposure time on your digital camera or film camera for that matter. Next you have gap. Gap is the amount of text that shows at any given time. This allows you to sync this up with the your camera's aperture. The larger the aperture, the smaller the gap that you need. Then you have direction to move the phone. We enable it so that you can move your phone left to right or right to left, whatever is more convenient to you. You have text color. This is the color in which your text displays. And then we have six different fonts for you to choose from. When you're all ready, you can hit the set and go button to go to the animation screen. Once you're on the animation screen, you can click anywhere on your phone to start the animation. We recommend you do this after your shutter is opened on your camera. Move your phone in the direction you had set on the previous screen in order to paint the text. And the end result is an image that has the text that you typed. Once you're finished and you'd like to get back to your settings page, just tap the two little arrows in the bottom left hand corner.